a new Division One women's soccer poll has been released, and it goes as follows. I'm going to mention like the first place votes out there too. Florida State with seven first place votes, UCLA, North Carolina, Penn State with one first place vote, Stanford, Texas Tech, BYU, Clemson, Arkansas, Memphis, U USC as the University of Southern California, Notre Dame, Santa Clara, Michigan State. Brown, Alabama, South Carolina, Pitt, Indiana, Xavier, Wisconsin, St. Louis, that was receiving votes. Now they're in at number 22. Kentucky, Arizona State, that was receiving votes or not ranked last week. And they're, they're now at number 24. And Nebraska is actually at number 25 after not being ranked last week. So, yeah. But receiving vote teams are Wake Forest. With 10, Georgetown with 8, Duke with 6. Yeah, they fell out of top 25. TCU did as well with 5 first place votes. I mean, with the tie with the Houston, about like one of the worst teams in Big 12. Yeah, that deserves it. Texas with 3 first place votes. Colorado with 2, Georgia with 1. I'm also going to go over like the RPI as well. And this does help determine the factor of who makes the NCAA tournament, who doesn't. And potentially, like, a team that could very well host up to Elite Eight if you're at that point. So, I'm just saying that. Because it's not just good enough for the first round. Or the second, like, round of 32 or Sweet 16. But all the way up to the Elite Eight. So, that's kind of important. So, RPI-wise, like, 1 through 16 would be Penn State. North Carolina, BYU, Florida State, Texas Tech, Stanford, Brown, Princeton, UCLA, Arkansas, Notre Dame, Clemson, Memphis, Alabama, Georgetown, and Mississippi State. But granted, it's not like the end-all, be-all in RPI. And outside teams are like St. Clair and Georgia and St. Louis. So, But I would concentrate more on like those bubble teams out there, like 40 through... 60 just to give a broad range and those are like LSU, Washington State, Rutgers, Gonzaga, P Providence, UCF, Old Dominion, Texas A&M, Colorado, California, James Madison, Iowa, Northwestern, Illinois, Vanderbilt, Minnesota, Pepperdine, Ole Miss, Georgia Southern, Texas, and ULM as in University of Louisiana Monroe. And granted, some of these teams might not be listed right now because their conference is so low in terms of RPI. So it's like a one bid. If it's a one bid league you're in, you gotta go out and win your your conference, whether it's the regular season or the conference tournament. Which some of them even start like beginning like next week or even like this up. Coming week after this, this is last regular season games here, potentially. So yeah, just to keep an eye out for that. I know for a fact that the Pac-12 does not have an NCAA tournament. So obviously, you got to win as much as possible. Of course, winning your conference tournament will really help. Of course, you got to avoid bad losses or even ties because that does affect things. It really, really does. So yeah, that's basically advice right there and. Go out and win your conference tournament, like I said. Of course, more bad losses. Win as much as possible. Of course, you got to hope for other teams to lose too, but you get the point. Now, I'm going to go over like my top 10 Division One women's soccer, and it goes as follows. Florida State, UCLA, North Carolina, Penn State, Stanford, Texas Tech, BYU, Clemson, Memphis, Arkansas. Very, very similar, as you could tell. Now, outside teams are looking at it like Notre Dame, USC, Santa Clara, Michigan State, Brown, and Alabama, just to name some teams. Inside top 25 matchups between now and next poll are like number 24, Arizona State, versus number 11, USC. Number 12, Notre Dame, at number 3, North Carolina. Number 19, Indiana, at number 4, Penn State. Number 18, Pitt, at number 1, Florida State. Number 18, Pitt, at number 8, Clemson. Number 21, Wisconsin, at number 4, Penn State. Number 24, Arizona State versus number 2, UCLA. And granted, From app .org, Arizona State 140 Alexa, stop. I apologize if you heard that right there. 
I just know next week will be a little bit funky, and I can't say it's definitely going to be a top 25 matchup between this team and this team if they're in a conference tournament starting next week. Or even that Sunday. I mean, I just can't. So, and the same thing goes for the following week as well. So, just keep that in mind the next two weeks. Then, we'll know who is definitely in the NCAA tournament. So, anyways, if you like this content, like and subscribe. And see you guys later on the road of 600 subscribers. Of course, ultimate goal is like a thousand or more. So, I can get paid, uh, you know, I could get money from this, of course, liking the video, commenting the video, of course, watching simply, and it was, would really help the YouTube algorithm so more people could see it. Also, share the video as well. I, I, would, I would greatly appreciate that so it gets the word out even more. In addition, like, hitting the notification bell as well. So, not just subscribe, but hit the notification bell because sometimes you miss video sometimes even when you hit the notification bell sometimes it doesn't get every video that has happened like on me subscribing to somebody else a few times not just one person but multiple at times it just happens so that's just an fyi and i would greatly appreciate it. and thanks again for watching and have a great tuesday